Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you guys are. Guys, smash the like button on this video. I also did a Charlo um, Crawford video. Please smash the like button on that video as well. Um, guys, Canelo Alvarez has said that Terence Crawford is a better fighter than Errol Spence. I wanted to give <clears throat> my take on what Canelo had to say and the fact that do I think Terence Crawford is a better fighter? Um, he said Terence Crawford has the better skills and I think Terence Crawford will probably come out on top if they fight. I do think Terence Crawford is a better fighter in the sense that I think he's more versatile. Um, I think he's got I think he's got a lot more in, in the toolbox. I think he can I think he can switch southpaw. I think he can box orthodox. I think Crawford is a very multi very versatile fighter. That doesn't necessarily mean he beats Errol Spence though. And what I mean by that is um, Errol Spence is a very, very big guy. And Terence Crawford has never fought anybody as technically as sound. He has fought guys technically sound, but he's not fought a guy that beats you up like Errol Spence, who's in, the, who's in his prime, who's punches pretty hard. I'm not saying he's a massive puncher by any stretch, but he punches hard, fundamentally sound. He's in his prime. He's hungry. Uh, and he's shown he can come back from adversity and he's a and he's a there's no quitting the man the guy the guy's a very very tough guy and what i've seen him do to welterweights i've seen him beat him up i've seen him batter danny garcia i've seen him destroy kel brook i've seen him destroy ugas uh, i've seen him beat guys up and he has developed a very good impressive resume uh, yes, Errol Spence's resume is better than Terence Crawford, but Roy Jones made a comment that, you know, Roy jo um, and Errol Spence hasn't fought a top-notch guy. And when I look at Errol Spence's resume, has he fought an, has he fought an uh, elite, elite fighter? No, I don't. Has he fought somebody that people will conceive as good as him? No, he hasn't fought anybody. So, for example, Danny Garcia is a good fighter, you know. Porter's a good fighter, but these aren't elite fighters. These are good world-class fighters. Yeah? These are good world-class fighters. His resume is slightly better than Crawford's resume, but there's not a lot in it. There's not a lot, really, a lot, a lot in it like people make out like Craw Spence's resume is on a... No, 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 no. Craw Spence is for the better guys at welterweight. He has got a better resume, but there's not a lot in it. Um, but like I said, I think Spence might be too strong for Crawford, but Crawford might be too good a boxer. I don't know. That's what makes that fight intriguing. But let me tell you something that, that, that anyone that tells you is confident either way is talking rubbish. It, they're, they're talking rubbish. Um, it's a competitive fight either way. Uh, personally, I think it's 50-50. I, I at this point, I don't have a winner. Uh, I don't have a winner um, at all because I think it's that type of fight where I can literally... like It's one of those fights for me now where it's got to the point where I, I genuinely don't know because um, Crawford is so gifted uh, and Spence has been so bullish at welterweight. He's been beating guys up, breaking him down, bashing him up that I couldn't give you a answer because I don't think either guy has been in a ring, been in the ring with a fighter as good as each other. And I think they're kind of untested at that really elite level. And unfortunately, someone mentioned that, oh, well, you know, Crawford, you know, he hasn't really fought anybody and Spence will batter him and this, that and the other. Apart from Errol Spence, who can Terence Crawford really fight that isn't past? Like, if Terence Crawford fights Keith Thurman, people will say, well, Keith Thurman is past his best. The only guys that Terence Crawford can fight to maybe get some credit is guys like Virgil Ortiz, Boots Ennis. The problem is with those guys is even if he beats those guys, people are going to say, well, they, they didn't fought anybody. They were unproven. They were green. So he doesn't really gain anything. This is when I said... That if Terence Crawford beats Errol Spence, what is there really out there for him apart from a Charlo fight? Because there's no one at welterweight. People talk about how the welterweight division is stacked. But for the elite guys like Spence and Crawford, people like Jaron Ennis and Virgil Ortiz is no good. Those guys are going to take over eventually. But the point I'm trying to make is for those guys that are an established, 
those fights are no good because those are unproven fighters. They've not achieved much in the sport yet. So for me, um, the only guy really Crawford can prove himself at welterweight, when people say Crawford's unproven, he, he can't prove himself against anybody because most people would expect him to beat Danny Garcia. Most people would expect him to beat Keith Thurman. Who else is there that's established? Porter's retired. Brook and Khan were finished when he fought them, right? Who else is there really at welterweight? There's no one. There's no There's no real top. Apart from the kids coming through, Stanny Onus, Ennis, Boots. But who else is there? There's no one at welterweight. There's no one there. There's no established fighter that's in their prime. The only guy that's lurking about really is Keith Thurman. And Keith Thurman, most people think he's finished. So I don't I don't buy that. I don't buy that theory. I don't really think there's anyone established there. So personally, I think both guys have to beat one another to prove that they are they are special. But well, time will tell. Let's see. Time will tell. Let's we'll find out. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.